Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Monster Hunter here on the K-Wings Let's Play channel. This is Yay! Monster Hunter World. We're looking at the K-Wings and finally the Angie armor is complete! Have I got a story to tell you guys how long it took to finish this thing, but uh, once we actually get to where we need to go. Oh, okay. So today we're doing an expedition going to... Uh, the Disney place, World. no, where oh. we fought that giant uh, rock monster. Hey, hey, what's going on? Yep, we're going to the Great Ravine. That's what it was. I, I forgot. Let's I was like, head out to the Great today? Ravine. Post new quest. What's the newest quest? Sign. Do we get food made by cats or cat uh, food? It says it's completed. Actually, that sounds kind of gross. Oh, we have to go on an expedition, so that means we just leave. That's right. This game. I'm overthinking it. Oh yeah, you just have to leave. Oh yeah, an expedition isn't the same as. Wait. Expeditions, you go out and you, you just can grab fight to your heart's content, but you don't get as many rewards unless you somehow manage to capture a monster. But more on that later. So anyway, it took all night to finish this armor set, and uh, I thought about you know what? It would probably be a waste of time for me to fight the monster by myself. And in hindsight, I probably just should have done that because it probably would have saved me two hours of my life mm. last night. Two hours, I, you never get back. <laughs> I joined in on ten quests um, from Whoa. 2 a.m. until 5 in the morning. Uh. And every quest but two, people fainted fighting the Angina. Oh my god. I kid gosh. you not. And there were people who were fighting it that shouldn't have joined in on the SOS you because we I... lost every single time. And Oh my gosh. Two of the closest times, like we had just taken the tail off and me and this other guy were hammering and this other guy just managed to come in. He didn't want the rewards or anything. He was like a HR2. Right. We made it. Yeah. Let's start by finding a way forward. Okay, the way forward idea. would be we just walk. So anyway, HR2 comes in, the thing's staggering, and I can see the guy type, like, watch out for the fire breath, and all of a sudden we see the guy faint, and you hear the other guy like, Because no! oh, you my get gosh. nothing. Yeah. You know? That's so annoying where other people faint, which means you get nothing. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying. Yeah, you know, that would really make... You know I would rage a whole bunch if I was playing for three hours. And I threw happened. my controller because it had already been from 2 a.m. until about <sighs> 4 or 5 in the morning, and <laughs> I was that close to finally finishing so off the armor. Straight through. We didn't even slow it down. I'm guessing there's something pretty important on the other side. She's going to keep gabbing. Are you done, woman? But when there were certain video games that you were trying to get me to learn and they were difficult when we were first married, I remember this massive fissure it made. This this is the power of an elder dragon. If you're gonna talk, lady, just keep talking no in succession. Just I'll talk to these people. You you say whatever you need oh, to. Oh no, that's okay. I, it it's not important. Well, I, that guy's not important. I, don't I was really I was just saying. Never mind. I was just saying that I remember you were showing me certain... I don't remember what games they were, but I was in tears trying to figure out how to play them because I would be like trying so hard for so many hours and not succeeding. And So yeah, I think I would have been like that last night if I was with you playing that. Yeah, but I mean, we had cut off the tail. I had picked up shiny stones from like uh, a Ross and a Rachel showed up and some <laughs> other monsters. And I was having a great Ross time with this other guy. I mean, he yeah. was a, a Switch X user and the mm -hmm. other guy was a hammer. And then this dude with a bow and arrow or something with bone armor came in, and I knew we were going to be in trouble, but he was attacking the monster, like, point-blank range with a bow and arrow, and I'm oh. just thinking, what? And, yeah, yeah sure you, enough, he died. You should attack from far away if you're going to be bow and arrow. But I was completely hard. livid. we got to be careful yeah. not to fall here. Oh, no, I'm going to push you off because you're interrupting my thought but process. in there, I mean... That's basically how when I first started trying to play Monster Hunter and I was online. I think we're getting close. I thought I remember being in an online quest where people were all mad at me. I can't remember, but I was pretty bad. It was terrible. Yeah, I, and would I didn't understand say that why, happens a lot actually. I didn't understand why they were mad at me. I was like, well, I died. Why does it matter? It's like, um, uh, because you made them fail. <laughs> oh. wow. That's pretty. Whoa, it's a coral reef. I was hoping we'd get to a snow uh, snow zone by now, but I guess that's probably further in the game. If at all, I don't know. Yeah, snowy zone would be cool. Snowy zone's in every game, as is lava place. I know. Where is he down there? 
reefs me down Wait, here. Wait, you're in a coral reef that has no water? Are you? Yeah, like... that doesn't make any sense. Wait, what are the bubbles then? Looks like pollen or dust. Uh oh. It's weird. <laughs> Come on, this way. But doesn't coral cut you? She's gonna die. Sweet. I mean, Ooh. oh no. She's your friend. You're supposed to help her. I don't. I never signed up for that. So Whoa! See, this is what happens when I follow someone! If I was there by myself, that wouldn't have happened. And that's the end of Monster Hunter World! We're dead. Well, I mean, I have armor, so... I'm okay, but she's mostly dead. Ah, nuts. The Whoa. Traveler has come, wearing Captain America boots. He's gonna take your stuff and go. Oh wait, maybe he's a good person. Shiny! Research base! So apparently there are other hub worlds, just like the other Monster Hunter games. Good to know! I mean, it looks like a hub world. Uh, I don't know where we are. Why did you have to survive? Why? Ah, uh, Navi exists still. Hi there, Third Fleet Master. Hmm. Hello. Where are you saying hello is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> da 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 da. So you're awake. Do you remember your fall? Uh, vaguely. All right. So a friend yeah. of theirs found you, you napping, napping and okay. then took your wallet. What? <laughs> Do I even have He's room like, for a wallet in this? Congratulations, you, you found the third fleet, Ray. She doesn't seem too. Well, you have Zenny. You have money. Isn't Zenny from Dragon Ball? I think you're confusing them. Maybe. Uh, I thought it was from this game. Hmm. I don't remember. Actually, I thought it was Capcom currency. Yes, we fell from the Great Ravine. Oh, there was a monster that came. No one cares. Dialogue. She looks cool, though. She looks like a samurai warrior or something. Yeah, who's basically... There's a dragon uh, crossing that happens to the Great Ravine every mm. so often. That's interesting. She has some kind of weird incense burner or something. She's smoking something. Yep. Yeah. It's Basically. like a pipe of some kind, except it looks like one of those things that you would stick in your ear with water. You know, it looks weird. That's what I was thinking. Yes, uh, Expedition of the Coral Highlands sounds fun. Obvious reasons, that's what we call the surrounding area. Okay. An expedition with nothing to do, though, like no monster to hunt? That's kind of lame. Yeah, I know. It's a good idea. I came up with it. Now go quickly. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Everything sounds like a good idea to you. <laughs> yeah. You literally jump off cliffs when people tell <laughs> yeah. you to. Yeah. Hey, uh, handler chick, um, why don't we go jump off a cliff? So that this... sounds like a great idea. <laughs> this is our new hub world. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. It's got a lot of purplingness to it. And this is the botany people. Let's explore a little bit. That looks like nothing of importance. Okay, let's go down this way. There is my chest for exchanging things, saving and sleeping. Cool, cool. There's Shadow. Shadow! And there's Shadow. Ooh, shadow. We can change our equipment. Yes. Uh, where's the blacksmith, though? I'm not seeing one. I see a way in and out is all through that door. Mm -hmm. That's just the botany people Looks again. Looks like you live in like a tree house, kind of. This is the remains of a, a ship of some kind. Oh. Different cats over there. Not seeing a blacksmith at all. Wait, who's this guy? Uh... Nope, he's got a research book. I love all the cats hanging out, though. It's really cool. It's cute. Koi! Mm-hmm. Kitties. All right, so I think that covers this base. Let's see. Let's check again. So we got provisions, item box, manager, cat, 
And I don't... I guess that's the village elder. It looks like there's other parts of the base that'll be unlocked later. Oh, okay. But, uh... Oh. Well... More of the world map has been shown. Yeah, having a coral reef without water is really weird to me. It's interesting. There we go. The coral reef. You want us to do what now? Sp spot? Nothing can stop us. Sight a hmm. the tizzy yaddy you? A sight a Oh, I can't even see it because it's so small text. Tizzy T! We're just gonna call yaku. him Tizzy. We're gonna call him Tizzy. Yeah, something Yaku. Yaku Tizzy. <laughs> Yakuza Tizzy, I don't know. Yes. Uh, and. <laughs> Sight a, a, a campsite. So. Okay. Ow. I don't know why, but I, I've heard that coral cuts you really bad if, you, if you're swimming, so I'm like really nervous of you getting cut. Yeah, but that's like moving through water. We're just walking. I mean, okay. it's not a problem. Hopefully not. So, I mean, this is an expedition. We have a couple things that it says we're supposed to do. Locate a tizzy. Those flowers shrunk into the ground. That has to be a danger warning of some kind. Whoa. I feel like we're in Alice in Wonderland or something. This is weird. Yeah, totally. Now, remember with expeditions, though, you can faint as many times as you want, and it doesn't, like, uh, fail a mission. I just realized this whole world is pink. Yes, this whole world is pink. Yay! I'm glad you're happy with that. In a world of my own. All right. Oh, even Whoops. the dinosaurs are pink. Weird. New dinos. That means new armor stuff. Back on the hunt for new equipment because that's what I do. One of the things that I'm obsessed with in Monster Hunter that always makes me. Mm, spend a lot of time in these games is I love collecting armors. Not so much the weapons. I find a weapon that I like and I stick to it the whole game. Mm -hmm. And then I spend most of the time collecting every single piece of armor I can. That's I think in Monster Hunter Generations I had about uh, 35 armor sets that I collected Whoa. and made from scratch. Well, I mean made from fighting the monsters and collecting parts. And yeah. in Monster Hunter 4 I only had about 25 armor sets. Wow, I didn't even know they had that many armor sets. Oh, they have lots. And there's cool. DLC quests and all kinds of stuff. I don't know how many armor sets they have in this game. So far, I have about eight. Yeah. I finally completed this one. That means we're, we'll be on the next page of armors. Yeah, the armor you're wearing right now is pretty cool. That is Angie armor. Angie. And I'm hoping, you know... Uh, the, this, basically fighting those little raptor things, that's usually an armor set. Because in Monster Hunter, remember how they have different color, like, raptor things? Each one of those is an armor. There's, like, four or five different color raptor things. Yeah. And each one of those represents a new armor for a region. Well. Yeah, that's usually how it works. Okay, cool. Uh. Oh my gosh, little hummingbirds. It's all kinds of weird birds, I don't know. I'm also on the lookout, too, for, besides trying to sight this monster, um, we should really be looking for bones in new areas, like bone piles, and mining ore spots, because those will be different materials, too. Yeah. Which, in the Great Ravine, when we were on top of that monster... Uh... What was that? That was awfully big. Was that Batman ship flying over you, or...? No, that wasn't... Whoa! Some... No. Some monsties are... That, that's too small. Oh, okay. To have a overcast that big. Okay. Um... Where was I? Oh, yeah. So when we were on top of that, um, volcanic monster, we found something called Dragonite Ore. Now, Dragonite Ore is yeah. really important for upgrading armor and weapons later on, as well as insect glaives, great swords, uh, twin swords, things like that. Yeah. So we're going to need to find more Dragonite Ore, wherever that is. And there's also something called Crystal Ore. Oh, yes. Or, or something like that. Yeah. That's I, in previous Monster Hunter games. I have, do have to say, though, this is a really creative area. It feels like cherry blossom trees everywhere. Yeah, of. it does feel yeah. like that. Definitely. This reminds me of that one weird region. Not, not the coral, but... You know how in Monster Hunter 4, the whole aspect of it was uh, about inclined planes and, 
like weird plateaus mm-hmm. and kind of like mushroom villages where everything was up high that you could climb it and stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from this level is it feels very Monster Hunter 4 like. And I don't oh, know how I okay. feel about that because I didn't like how mm, they changed like the leveling. Yeah, where you are going up an incline and stuff like that. Yeah, right. I can see you're going down, and then you were going up a little bit. This ago. one feels like definitely one of those Monster Hunter 4 levels, but it's not as bad. Yeah. You know? All right, we found a bone pile. That's awesome. So let's see well, what type of new bones we get. Uh, Monster bone, that's normal. Ooh, sturdy bone, that's new. And monster bone. So, sturdy bone is a new material that you can get in coral reef. That's good to know. And cool. let's see. We're gonna go undercover for a while. That way we can just, you know, be able to select stuff without having to worry about monsters attacking us. Kind of like we're yeah. going invisible. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. I'm glad I came up with it. You would think you'd have to get a pink covering for this place. Though. No, this is my camo thing. <laughs> Don't knock my camo look, please. It's awesome. Oh, sorry. The thing's just sleeping there. He's just sleeping. He's hanging out. Well, I'll have to kill him in order to, you know, get yeah. more of his skin. <laughs> Hold still. You, you I to, need to make a new armor. You have to destroy him because he's there. I need to turn you into a man purse. <laughs> Yeah, one of those, uh... Do, 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 do. And, uh I, European bags. Side bags. For men. Messenger bag, is that what they call it for men? I guess so, yeah. I prefer a backpack, or if I'm really trying to be fashionable, a fanny pack. Oh my gosh. I still have my uh, fanny pack. One, of, Well, I have the one I had when I was a kid. It had the uh, Ninja Turtles on it. I hated wearing fanny packs. I had I had to have them whenever I went on a school trip. And my parents would say, oh, this is safer because no one can steal it out of your fanny pack. That's not true. I had um, somebody really? steal. Yeah, I was but at a like field right trip. But it's like right on your belt. Like, how yep. can they take that? Wow. I don't know. You just have the worst luck, K-Wing. Well, I, I will... Didn't pay attention to my surroundings when I was little. You never did learn to mind your surroundings? I did mind to learn my surroundings as I yeah, got older after and that. paranoid. But yeah. <laughs> you know, when yeah. I was a kid, I was very well, you actually young have a, and innocent. You have a lot of really cool tips on how to make sure you don't get mugged. In I'm cities. not sharing those tips with people. Though. Yeah, actually, I was thinking, let's not share them. Because in case somebody watching this video wants to mug us one day, then they will they know, know our how, secret. Yeah. <laughs> you should make a how to not get mugged. Video series under a fake name. <laughs> under an alias? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then where, like, I've seen... <laughs> I've seen people who, who do conspiracy videos. Not that I sit there and watch them all day. Right. But some people, like, who don't want to be themselves or whatever, they, like, morph their voice or they wear a fake wig or they put a hoodie over their face <laughs> so you can't really see them. And then they're like, you guys, it's real. The Smurfs are taking over the world. I just I wanted to let you guys know. People just wear a V for Vendetta mask. <laughs> yeah, some people do that. Whether it's men or women, they all wear the mustached white yeah. mask. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Remember when we were behind that guy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. We were behind a guy oh, whose gosh. license plate said anonymous or something. It was weird. Yeah. And then it had a crazy bumper sticker that was like, you know, like, if I, you're watching me, then I can, like, get you or something. And then it had, like, anonymous masks in the back of his car. And I was Bubble just like, bum. I was just like, I think this guy's with anonymous. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, but they're kind of, I don't know. Look. Illegal. Look what 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 do you want me to look at? I didn't I didn't see anything significant. Yeah, I forgot. I was gonna take a picture of his car, but then I didn't want to get killed, so I decided yeah, probably. Not to. We can build the camp here. We can build a camp What's here. We discovered something! Hooray! We found a camp. I'm so excited. I'm just blown out of my mind right now. This is gonna be a campsite for us. We just have to talk to the head honchos about 
forging a camp here. You know, if you were really going to do, like, a thing where you were trying to, like, reveal secrets or something, you should do a vlog of yourself but standing in the shadows in, like, a garage or something. <laughs> Using a voice that sounds like this <laughs> yeah. to protect my identity. <laughs> this is what I found <laughs> No one can decipher what my voice is right now. You should do a Bane voice. <laughs> I'm actually a 35-year-old woman. <laughs> but you can't tell because the way I sound right now, I'm anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love it when they. Have you seen parody movies where they're interrogating a child and they sound like this? What? They make them sound <laughs> like this too. It's like, this is a protector identity. It's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I chased a squirrel today. Okay. Squirrel. I'll have, to watch, I'll have to watch those videos. Parody movies. Like, yeah, the parody the Parodies, ones. yeah, because it's like, if everybody uses that voice <laughs> for, like, you know, going into witness protection or something, it's just it's It's funny. like the same voice. They should do a parody video where it's like a guy with a really deep muffled voice. It's the one who's speaking he's, for everybody. He's the yeah. one who does the voiceovers. That for would be funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Wee. Yeah. Because they all sound exactly the same. All right. So in order to leave this quest now, we need to find some monsters. So the best way to find monsters is picking up their trail. And I like this feature in Monster Hunter. It's it's kind of fun. It's like, I believe you could track monsters before, but not to this extent. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't really remember tracking monsters before. You just kind of found them and threw paintballs at them, right? I think that's how it worked. I didn't know. Oh, right. Yeah, you just throw paintballs at them. And yeah. the monsters didn't used to appear on maps either. Until you threw a paintball on the I face. know! You didn't know they were going to be there. That's why it was a surprise when they showed up. Yeah, this game's definitely more accessible, but it is fun. You're right. They never did appear. And if the paintball wore out, they would disappear from the map. You would have to memorize where they would be napping. And, yeah. you know, you would have to figure next. it out. You'd have to go all over the map trying to find them. Well, in the older games, they used to hang out places where there would be other animals to eat. Yeah. But I don't or, think I ever saw them eat the, the other animals. Or they would go to their cave. Yeah, I've never seen one eat, except in this game, though. This game, you see them eat, yeah. That was horrifying. Like, delicious barbecue I just, raptor. I, I just know. don't understand how animals can eat each other like that without, like... I mean, it's like fur and everything. It's like, oh my gosh. I just don't understand that. I don't know. I'm just glad I'm not an animal. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What do we have here? That's the monster we ran into Wh earlier. It must be the big boss around these parts. Wow! Look at that thing! It's crazy looking. I've seen people with that armor set. That is rank... I want to say that's a rank well, 6 or well, 8 monster. Oh my gosh. We can't beat him. Okay. We can't beat him. We would die. Why did he not attack you? But I'm definitely, you know what? I'm gonna spend some time in this exhibit. But you can't see me. Oh. I'm I'm invisible at the moment. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I got you. So he likes to hang. I'm gonna try to beat him in a ex a, a expedition. Do you naturally roll, or you have to push a roll button when you when you? Fall? You don't take any damage in this game from jumping oh, up really you, high places. You don't. That have was to, in some other Monster Hunter games. You don't have to physically roll when you hit the ground. No, you you did in other games. Yeah, but not in this I remember one. that because if you didn't roll, then you would get hit. But here, it just seems like it automatic auto rolls for mm -hmm. you. Everything is auto. My legs are broken, but I'm going to continue to walk anyway because <laughs> yeah. I am a monster hunter. <laughs> Just does feel like it's a pretty high drop, though. Oh yeah, of course. Hmm. This is so colorful. This is gonna be a fun area to just like be in for the next like couple hours. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I am gonna try to fight that big monster. I want to see if I. Yeah, I mean, you know, if all I have to worry about is fainting. Uh oh. Um, this there it is. Ew, this is kind of gross. That's a cool-looking monster. Yeah, that is cool. Whoa! Oh, it's got a blinding ability. Sweet! He would do well at a photography store. Tizzy! <laughs> 
Tizzy! Alright, so yeah, now we have tis. to return to... The research base has a new guest. Want to go back and check in? And maybe grab something to eat? Huh? Wait, there's fast food chains around here? What? What do you mean grab something to eat? We just found the monster. No, they want us to leave. We don't have to fight it right now. Actually, it'll probably take us a while to fight it, too, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna leave. That was exciting! We found a couple monsters, and uh, that was that was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, we should send a postcard from there. It's cool. Is it a postcard from the coral area? Yeah, because it's pretty there. Yes, I would like to return to base camp, if that's cool. Totally uh, done with this. I just... I don't like how they make the food look so delicious in this game. Usually it's just like, oh, you're eating food, okay. Of course, it always looks fun. The cats always have fun making the food, though. Except that one cat doesn't do much. Like the, um... Scar cat? Scarfing. Yeah, he he always... Either he puts, like, a little bit of uh, basil on top of it, or if it's, like, a, a big, meaty platter. Yeah. Oh, we're Hunter level 6 now. Cool. I didn't know that. I thought I was still, like, uh... Five or four or something. That's good to know. It means I can take on HR6 quests. <laughs> That's gonna be terrifying. But no, I'm gonna have a lot of fun in this area. Me too. You're uh, a ways away. No, I like on the couch with you. Oh, right, that. Next to you, watching you play, because I don't know how to... Yeah, I can't make it here on my own. Oh, look who it is! The man who never sleeps! Yeah, that guy. The rock star with eye makeup. <laughs> yeah. Fleet master. Da 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 da. Hmm. I see that you returned empty-handed. Shut up. Hey now. Weird stubby toe person. Hmm. You know, right? Those are weird feet. No wonder, like. Yo. Oh, yeah. what's up, you? No wonder she's single. Yeah. Yeah. It's not your ears that's the problem. It's your weird demon feet. Uh, yeah, we went on an expedition. It was great. You missed out on all the fun. Are you actually going to help us for once, or probably not? You're called field team leader, but what do you lead? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you couldn't lead a bunch of ants to a picnic. <laughs> uh, okay. I think he leads a Girl Scout troop, and he takes them into the field. Oh, he wants us to resurrect a base. They find uh, pine cones. Okay. We're wait. We're gonna do something with balloons. Oh, we're gonna make an airship. Cool. And weird demon toes just gave us permission to uh, use her coral reef area. I don't know. From the air, you'll be able to survey the Val. Okay. The airship engineer said uh, they'll take care of the airship construction. According to scholars, materials from a monster called. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight a monster to build an airship. Paulum, that sounds cool. Paulum. Uh, I'm excited. I'm glad to be a part of this uh, plan. That Oops. sounds really cool. And the old man said to give you this. I'm gonna call that monster Paolumu. It's a specialized tool made using materials from the local monsters. Okay. Okay. They had a handful of uh, kicking around, so they decided to put them to use. Okay. Easy, Shadow. It's, it's called walking. Are you stuck? Yep. Yeah, the old man hopes going? he will find, will get you some new gear. Balloons, the sky, all of this is amazing. <laughs> Shadow is not amazing at walking. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode. Thank Yay! you so much for watching another Monster Hunter. I'm going to be hanging out. If you see me playing online with Expedition, I'm going to be in the Coral Reef uh, all day. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more LEGO Marvel than Dragon Ball and Monster Hunter. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!